But if it's zina, no. Because it deals with, with harming the other individual and they have a, a fitter position. Amazing! That's how grave sin is. And to people on Valentine's, this is like drinking, you know, some milkshake. No problem. Big, it's actually expected. So how can we get involved in something that is so heinous, so abhorrent in the sight of Allah? Where so many people around the world disobey Allah in this fashion. A'udhu Billah. If you love Allah and Islam, you will never be able to. And when you see people getting involved in it, you will become sick in your stomach. And you will say something about it. Next. Mother's Day. You know Mother's Day. And you know, we've, we've mentioned many times that you know, that if you really want to go to Jannah, you better be good with your mother. If anyone here thinks he can speak to his mother in a manner that is un-Islamic by screaming at her, or, or, or you know, uh, blowing in her, you know, and, and, and you know, blowing some, some things or expressions that are unacceptable, or I don't know, anything, anything that will hurt her feelings, let him guarantee himself a ticket in Jahannam unless Allah wills otherwise. But the greatest sin after shirk is uquq al being undutiful and disobedient to one's parents. Be very careful. And the father is included. But the mother has a special place. So a Muslim does not, does not abandon his mom all year and he remembers her on Mother's Day. And the, or, the origin of Mother's Day is a god, goddess, I'm sorry, named Iris. Egyptian goddess named, oh not Iris, Isis. This is where it came from. And then of course it was adopted by the Romans and the list goes on until the Christians picked it up and then it became a popular holiday, Mother's Day. And I've pre previously told you the reality of Mother's Day. A person will disobey, will disrespect and ignore his mother all year round. Then as they say in street language, he will shut her up with a present on Mother's Day. That's what it is. Get off me, but take these flowers and I love you. Quote unquote, see you later, mom. And all year round, they may not even speak to their mothers. Can a Muslim do this? No, 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 no. You don't wait for Mother's Day. And if you wait for Mother's Day, then you are doing something that the Prophet ﷺ didn't do, nor did his companions, nor anyone who we knew to be righteous. They never waited for something called Mother's Day to love their mothers. They love their mothers all year round. And Father's Day is something similar. No need to elaborate. Christmas, <coughs> New Year, strictly Christian. And Christmas has a long history as well. Let's begin by saying Jesus, the son of Mary, may Allah exalt his mention, was not born on the 25th of December. Because we cannot prove it. Not Islamically, not biblically, not historically. There's absolutely no authentic reference to that. Rather, if you want to go historically, you will find that this is some, you know, Constantine and Julius Caesar and some god, sun god that they used to worship uh, during the pagan times, eventually adopted by the Catholic Church in order to bring the pagans into Christianity. And it's a long history that I will not waste your time with. The bottom line is, Christmas is a wicked day where shaitan is being worshipped and loved in the name of the so-called Son of God, which they have made equal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I will deal with the issue of, of greetings and how do we deal with that. Christmas and New, Year, New Year's are Christian festivals and my brothers and sisters in Islam, we have nothing to do with them. Even if someone said Merry Christmas to you, you don't say Merry Christmas back to them. And I will give you the adequate explanation as we move on in the lecture but until then keep it in your mind that you will never ever get involved in Christmas or New Year's and New Year's be careful because some people consider it to be something ordinary this is the Gregorian calendar not the Islamic calendar not the Hijri calendar this is their their New Year not ours and we don't even have a New Year's really we just have life goes on until you meet Allah Yes, they had to establish a time, which is time of and this, the, the Sahaba, you know, they, they differed on when to begin the Hijrah, the, the, the lunar calendar, and they wind up choosing the time of Hijrah of the Prophet ﷺ. It wasn't something that, you know, was 